Hello and welcome back to another Chinese food adventure. It's a beautiful, well, it's kind of raining, but it's a beautiful <laughs> Sunday morning here in the Jing. I'm here in Beijing with my good friend Jasmine. Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine. My hometown is in Nanjing and I'm currently working in Beijing. So yeah, very glad to explore yeah. more local food here. Today we're trying probably what the, one of the quintessential Beijing dishes. It's a breakfast dish. It's called chao gan, or as the locals call it, chao gar. <laughs> and it's basically stewed livers, stewed intestine. And when it comes to trying chao gar, there's really only one place you can think of. And it's the place behind me here. It's called Yaoji Chao Gar. And it's really, really famous because Biden actually came here back in 2011, back when he was vice president, but didn't even order the dish that this restaurant is named after Chao Gar. Instead, Biden opted for a bowl of jajangmyeon, Beijing's signature noodle. It's kind of like going to Pizza Hut and not ordering pizza, you know? Yeah. So today, today we're going to be doing what? President Biden did not do, which is eat the stewed intestines. Let's go. Just looking around at what people are ordering, it seems that everyone has a bowl of chalgar in front of them. Also, I see a lot of balza. It seems that people are ordering the chalgar with a side of balza. So I think that's what we're going to order today. Some chalgar, some balza, and maybe just some jajamyan, just to see, you know, what did Biden eat? What, what, what did he taste? So here we have the chaogar. Like, to be honest, it doesn't look super appealing. Yaoji chaogar have been using the same recipe since they opened in 1989. It's a big pot of pork liver, pork intestine, starch, soy sauce, as well as a shit ton of garlic. And we have our balls in here. Oh yeah, I'm glad we only got two. They were so quite big. Fun fact, here at Yaoji Chaogar, you buy your balza by the weight, not by the number. So here, instead of order by one balza, two balza, they order by liang. It's a very traditional Chinese measuring way. So basically, yi liang equals to 50 grams. They definitely ordered more than one liang. Okay, so here we have our chaogar. First impressions is that it's very, um, it looks quite starchy, right? Like yeah. quite blobby. It's like pudding. Like a pudding. And it looks like there's lots of garlic on top there. You can see the pieces of liver in here. Would you find anything like this on the menu in Nanjing for breakfast? Never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just prefer more like less flavorful food okay. there. Right now, I just want a bowl of rice. You want a bowl of rice? <laughs> yeah. I don't even think they have rice on the menu. I think our option when it comes to carbs here are these bowls up. Let's try this for the first time. Chao Enjoy! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> it's nice. Very strong garlic. Yeah, very strong garlic flavor. And it's a very interesting texture, this... I don't even know if you can call it a soup. It's more like a glop. It's kind of like a gung in a, Chinese. A gung? Like What's a gung? gung? A pudding texture soup, but not solid. It's very rich, very hearty. And oh my goodness, check out this queue. It's getting bigger and bigger by the minute. Can you go to eat what? Chaogang. The kind of food that is uh, very old and have a, such a history. Do you like chaogang? I don't like it. You don't like it? Why? Because it's very good. I think it's very good. I don't like it. Young children eat these things. It's like a salad. Oh. It's like a salad. For those of you who don't know, doujie is the infamous fermented mung bean milk that you find here in Beijing. I say infamous because it has a very signature smell. Comment below if you want to see me try it. Now I want to try one of these balza. You want to try? Yeah, sure. So it seems that this is the typical accompaniment for your chao gar. Oh, yum. Inside there's meat. But yeah, very um, rich. I think I'm kind of learning that Beijing is all about like very rich, strong flavors. Like normally when we're having this flavorful balza, I would prefer just plain porridge. This is already super rich. And this soup is super rich. It should be dipped into this, but you already finished it. I already it. finished it? <laughs> you try. You dip your balza into the chow gar. I was waiting for the next challenge, you know? <laughs> I finished it already. Okay, dip that in. A nice big dip. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh I'm gonna <laughs> put a lipper on it. Oh. How is it? 
very complicated. <laughs> There's flavor of pork and also the liver. I've never combined them together like within one bite. It's very salty. Very salty. <laughs> That's the zhong kou way that we've yeah. come to expect from Beijing food. Oh, what about the jia mian? I forgot about it. Yay! We got our jia jiang mian. So jia jiang mian literally translates to fried sauce noodles. And when it comes to jia jiang mian, it's all about the sauce. It's made from a combination of this like yellow bean paste, which has kind of like a miso consistency. It's quite salty. And also with tian mian jiang, which is quite sweet. So when you put it all together with all of these veggies, fresh veggies, they must be fresh, and the noodles, it's this texture explosion, it's a flavor explosion, it's sweet, it's salty, it's savory, it's crispy, it's chewy, it's saucy, it's hot. There's a lot to love about this dish. It's like the signature Beijing noodle, and we're about to get stuck into it. And no one orders it. No one orders it. <laughs> no one is eating it in this restaurant except for us. Do you want to do the honors and mix sure. up? There's no second shot, right? No, <laughs> only one shot to get so the... nervous. <laughs> you can do it. Okay. Look at all those fresh veg. So we've got cucumber, radish. Traditionally, these should be handmade noodles, so they should be quite chewy. Let me serve you some jajangmian. Thank you. Saucy, saucy jajangmian. Oh, look at that. I was about to say you're an expert in using chopsticks. <laughs> you were about to say and then I failed. But you let me down. <laughs> Are you trying to chop the noodles with the chopsticks? Like a pair of scissors. Wow. Level up. The famous jajangmian that no one is eating. Very nice. I've had a lot of jajangmian in Beijing and every place is a little bit different because it's a very ancient dish. It's been made here for many, many years. This bowl here totally gave me spaghetti bolognese vibes. Very rich and meaty sauce and noodles slightly on the harder side. And actually there's a place that I've been wanting to take you to, Jasmine. And I've been saying, we need to go to this place, we need to go to this place. It's actually around the corner. Do you want to go? Right now? Yeah. We can do that. And see I how it... the topic for today is chopper. <laughs> you know, topics can change. We are heading into the Hogulo Yan Hutong. So we have a queue of people lining up here, and I think it may be for this place. Let's check it out. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah. So this is the place. The line in Universal Studio <laughs> is shorter than this. So we decided to wait and tortured ourselves by looking through the windows at customers devouring their jajangmian. So we are still outside waiting, but what I'm noticing here inside the window is they have these jars and jars and jars of garlic. So I wonder how that's, you know, how that accompanies the dish. So I've learned that lava garlic is a very popular food accompaniment for noodles and dumplings in the north of China. It's essentially garlic soaked in vinegar, which causes the garlic to eventually turn green, both inside and out. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, so we didn't even have to order, we just come into the restaurant and they start bringing stuff out to us because I guess the only thing that people come here to eat is the jajangmian. And the um, price is stable, like 20, 20 RMB. Here they give us the vegetables on one plate, fresh. And then, ooh, the noodles here. Oh, they look really juicy. So it's kind of like a build your own jajangmian here. I, I love this. It's DIY. Where's the sauce? Uh, right here. Oh, so it that's the be. sauce. I think so. Really? It's a Sure, sure. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. 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 <laughs> so this is our sauce here. It's definitely a lot more solid and I've been told don't add too much. Otherwise it will be a little bit strong. Also, if you have a big appetite, make sure you leave enough sauce to use on your second bowl of noodles. So once you've finished with your noodles, you can actually <laughs> order more. Wow, okay. And if you're planning to have that second bowl, make sure you ration those veg too. Very, very reasonable price, I would say, um, for 20 renminbi. And considering you can get unlimited noodle refills, that's 
pretty damn good. Mm. Really, really good. It really depends on like personal preference. Mm. So the ones that we just had, the sauce was a lot more saucy. It was, you know, kind of drip, dribbled over the noodle. Whereas this one, the sauce is a lot thicker, richer, saltier, very springy noodles. I'm very curious to try some of this lava swan. You want some? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Are you planning to kiss any boys this afternoon? What's gonna tell? Oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're gonna have to rearrange those plans. So I'm gonna go in and try it with the noodles because I feel like it's a bit hardcore for me just to go in and eat a, a, an entire clove of garlic. Or in this case, one bite of garlic, one mouthful of noodles. So have you got your clove? Small bite of I've got a big one here. <laughs> I'm gonna smell so bad. It goes well. Really? You don't like it? <laughs> I like garlic, I guess. It's more spicy than I thought. Spicy, but it's like pickly. It's almost like a bit of a, a palate cleanser because those noodles are very heavy and like salty. And then it brings like a bit of pickliness to the dish. I like it. Yeah, it's a magical combination. Okay, so in conclusion, I'm gonna say if you're in Beijing, make sure you go and try some chalka. You, when you're in, you know, somewhere, you need to try the local food. Um, and chalka definitely is, you know, the quintessential Beijing breakfast dish. Mm. <laughs> That's it from us here. We're gonna chat some more and we will see you next time. Bye from Beijing. Bye. Bye.